yeah, I'm gonna do a little gardening. So just up here, we have the ferns and my hellebores that have been here for a long time with the snake grass, which I love. And yesterday I was at Altamont Gardens. I tweeted the photographs and put them on Instagram and I fell in love with this hellebore. Beautiful hellebore, look at that flower. And I said, where am I gonna plant it? Isn't it right? I asked, where am I gonna plant it? Because it's so beautiful. And I realized this bed is full of these gorgeous primulas that um, I got from a friend of mine and they work together. Look at that. Those, the coloring, the kind of the yellow and the um, kind of very pale, smoky, sort of purple or violet or whatever you want to call it kind of works and I think that it's gonna look gorgeous so I'm gonna plant it right there and it'll get grass this black grass growing around it which is also very very beautiful with it whoops very beautiful with it so these also need a bit of thinning look at how thick that is which is wonderful so I can plant more of them around this particular beautiful hellebore. I went there for my niece's birthday because I promised I'd buy her a hellebore for her birthday present. And I ended up buying one for myself as well. But isn't that just such a beautiful face? Such a gorgeous face. Oh, hello, have you come to help garden? You good kitty. Yeah, you've come to help garden. Yeah, time gave up. He jumped off my shoulder and gave up on the gardening. Okay, well, I am going to plant this, this beautiful hellebore right here. Okay, so I've dug the hole and I've dug it a bit deeper than what the plant in the pot is, so this will go right in there. You can see it fits right in. And look how it just matches. It's so close to the, those, these uh, primulas. Ah, oh, I'm so pleased with how that's turned out. So it'll look really good in there. I've got to spread this clump because that's very thick. And I can dot them around so that this will be surrounded by these particular beautiful primulas. They're all along here and in there. So I'm gonna divide this clump up to spread them even further around. It's gonna look lovely when they're all in flower at the same time. These are red lupins. And then there's another plant that's just coming up. You can see right there, that's another red flower. So underneath, you'll have the black grasses and the red flowers on top further into the year. Oh, you're coming back again. He wandered off as I was digging the hole, but he's now returned. You back again after I've dug the hole. Yeah. The thing about hellebores is when you're planting them, this is all the soil I dug out, you can see that their roots are right at the bottom of this pot that it's in. Now, this is really complicated. Can you, you've got to, <laughs> everybody wants to get so involved in the gardening, but I've got to do this. Come on guys, I've got to move this sideways because I need to show what I do with my hellebore plants when I buy a new one. Okay, so, Sometimes they can be very, very tight in their pot, slightly root bound because they love it. So I tend to push on the pot like this. There, now, let's see, I'm gonna change this to a different side. Okay, now, so I do this. Then I lift it up and it should, whoop, 
with a thump at the box. Now, you can see, oh, the dogs are all playing. Maya, really, stop. <laughs> Maya, really? I mean, I'm trying to do a video here. Okay, you can see here, you see how bound the roots are in this hellebore. You wouldn't know it if you look at the front, but at the bottom you can see. And so I just kind of loosen a bit of it up and hopefully the roots will spread out once I pop it in and plant it. So loosening all these roots and then sometimes taking this and just, you can be a bit rough. Yeah, I'm breaking a few roots, but that'll stimulate growth. There, you see, there, now, now I can put this into the ground. I have to change the video camera direction because we're on selfie at the moment. Not much good for what I'm next stage. And look at who's arrived back just in time for the planting. Oh, look, everybody's here. <laughs> Everybody's here. Um, can I please? Yeah, can you move? I want to plant my hellebore. So here's this lovely hellebore. I don't like holding on to them around there because that's all tender. So I hold it further down and drop it into the hole. Here we go. Now, the hellebore, I might turn it round slightly. What are you digging at? I don't want to plant hellebores there. You're fine. It's your daughter is digging. Why are you so, you're digging where I don't want things dug. Yes, you're a cheeky gardener is what you are. Definite cheeky gardener. Bold cheeky gardener. You can see here how beautiful this particular primula is with the black snake grass. So slowly growing this bed to the way I like it. Though I'm going to turn this around. And yes, I dug all this soil up, but I'm going to put a richer kind of compost soil around where um, I've just planted this. What are you doing? Hmm? What you doing? Okay, I'm gonna keep planting this beautiful hellebore. So, that gives a bit of variety and color of the hellebores. There's a pale one and then these darker ones and then this lovely one. It looks lovely with these primulas. And uh, I've divided this big chunk up you can see here are all the babies that I've divided up and transplanting them back in and I'm trimming off leaves. You can see I trimmed off a load of leaves of this baby that I put in. I'm going to take that flower off to give them a chance to acclimatize to their new location. So I'm going to cover this area with the, this color dividing them of um, primula. It's lovely, and I really, I think it just, ah, see, even with the back of this particular hellebore, it looks lovely. Just gorgeous. Oh, I'm so pleased with how this has turned out, or is going to turn out. It'll take a year or two for this to acclimatize to its new location, and for all my divided primula to boom, because I planted these two or three years ago. I can't remember when I was given them. I can't remember if it was 2020 or 2021. But they're doing really well, all, all of the primula. And I love these. They're so beautiful with their variegated leaves. So, And then these are irises. I have now been sat on I've just finished planting this uh, 
sweet, tiny daffodil, which is called Rip Van Winkle. I just saw its name here on the label. So it's Rip Van Winkle, double yellow narcissus or daffodil. And then there's the planting I just did earlier of the hellebore, which will match the primulas that are around it. And I segregated out that big clump of primula to cover that whole bed. So over the next number of years, as that gets bigger and all the primula bloom under it, it just will look gorgeous. What you doing? What you doing? Hmm? Tulips are coming up. Here's some more primulas that I was given. I love this one. It's a really, really beautiful primula. And I planted them all out over here. A lot of them, not all of them. And then there's some tulips coming up. And yeah, no, it's looking good. Other flowers are coming up as well. So always adding to make it look loverly, as they say, constantly adding. 